Greetings from Diazonic Labs. My name is Amir and welcome to my channel. When you are working on any machine learning or deep learning or data science project, the fundamental thing what you need is data. The most common ones are in the form of images, audio, video, numbers, text, etc. We are today dealing with the image data. So now the question is, how do you gather enough images when you are training machine learning or deep learning model with enough amount of images? Watch the video till the end to get some answer. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do consider subscribing it and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification on our videos. We bring to you lot of tech related videos. The subscribe button is given at the bottom right corner of the video. So let's go ahead with the video. As we were discussing about the gathering of image data, the first question to be answered is how we can actually get the images. The most common method what we all use to get any image is just go to Google and then download the image and then manually annotate them, right? This is what we do. But then there is another simple method, simple technique wherein you can gather automatically lots and lots of images. Okay, and this can be done with just one help of a simple Python library. And the library which we will be using is called as Bing Image Downloader. So you might have definitely heard about Google. This is the most famous search engine which is uh, available out there. Along with Google, we also have something called as Bing. So Bing is also a search engine just like Google. All right, and there is actually a Python library which is called as Bing Image Downloader. So when you use this particular library, it will be very easy for you to actually scrape the data, to actually download the image data directly from the Bing website. So what I'm gonna do right now is, uh, let me just go to say the Google Chrome and I will type here Bing. Okay, let me just go to Bing here. In fact, I will type Bing Image. All right, and then if I go inside Bing images, okay, so let me search for say apple fruit here. Okay, I'm just giving here apple fruit and you should be able to see we are getting lots of apples here, right? Lots of uh, apple images, whatever we have. So it is just like the Google search, like imagine you go to Google and then go to images and type for something, you will get it, right? So what we will do is uh, in our programming language, so we'll be using the base as again Python because Python is the most popular language, right, for uh, data science. So we'll be using the Python language as the base and we will install this Bing image downloader. Let's see how we can do that and let us also check whether we are able to download the images properly or not. All right, so first of all, uh, I will go to say Google Collab. Let me just open Google Collab. Google Collab is the online Python notebook for executing Python codes. So I'm just going to create a new notebook here. Now, as the notebook opens, uh, if you remember, uh, whenever you are actually using any library in Python, you will have to uh, always understand that there are two types of libraries in Python. The first one is inbuilt library, uh, which is actually coming with the interpreter. Whenever you download or install any Python software or go ahead with Python uh, interpreter online, you get that particular library as it is. And the second type is user defined library. So the user defined library is actually handled by one specific manager called as pip all right so the libraries are actually uh, noted in one specific website called as pypi.org so what i'll do is i'll go to this website and i will type here bing image downloader all right so the documentation for this particular bing image downloader is actually given here let us go inside this and you should be able to see here it says bing image downloader so this is a python library to download bulk of images from bing.com Okay, uh, this is what it says. Now, uh, how do you install this particular library? So if you want to install this particular library uh, on your say Python notebook or uh, any of your IDE, you need to just write pip install Bing image downloader. All right, let us do the same here. So I will copy this and paste it here inside my Google Colab. If you want to convert your cell into say command line interface, you just need to write your exclamatory and then let me just connect and run this and this particular library will get installed. Once the library is installed, the next thing what I'll do is, I will actually create a new directory. So for creating a new directory, I can write mkdir make directory and let me name it as say images, all right? And let me run this as well. So 
uh, it is installing the Bing image downloader here. This is installed. It is successfully installed and the version which we are using is 1.0.4 which is the la uh, latest version according to pypi.org as well. It was released in July 26, 2020. All right. So once this is downloaded here, I am just uh, creating a new folder by the name of MKDIR images. So if you see here in the file section, you should be able to see here a new directory by the name of images is actually available. And if you want to put this particular thing inside the drive, you can definitely mount your drive and do the same as well. All right. But then let us continue with this particular thing itself. Now, how can we download an image, right? So imagine you want to download this fruit, apple fruit uh, image. How can you do that? Imagine I want to download more than one. I want to say download, uh, say 20 or 30 images of this. How can you do that? So first of all, you need to write a simple code here. Uh, let me just write, say from Bing underscore image underscore downloader. All right. From here, I will import downloader. Okay, this is the library which I'm importing. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so once I've imported this particular library uh, from this particular package, now I can write downloader dot download. All right. And then inside this, you can write what you need to actually search. So I'm searching for apple fruit. Now, before continuing with the uh, you know code i want to go back to say my pypi uh, uh, website and then inside this project description you should be able to see here lot of uh, you know queries or the parameters which are available for this download method all right so the first query is query string uh, this is what i have typed here as apple fruit and i will get that the next thing is limit limit by default is 100 if you want uh, you know you can keep it more or you can keep it less Okay, so I will give my limit. I don't want to download obviously 100 images for now. Uh, so I will make it as say 10. Okay, just for understanding, I'm going to make it as 10. And then the next thing is what should be your output directory. Okay, let me just copy this. Uh, since I've already created the directory by the name of images, I will also name the output directory as images. All right. What else do we have here? Here we have got three more other parameters which we need not use. Uh, but let us just discuss quickly. So the first one, it says adult filter. So if you don't want any adult content, then uh, you should keep it as true. OK, by default, it is true. So I will not make any changes here. Then the next thing is force replace. Imagine if you have a folder, then uh, if that particular thing is present, then it will delete and then it will uh, start a new download. It will start a fresh download. So we don't need to do that. OK, let it be false as it is. And then the timeout. Imagine this particular thing is not able to get the image properly if it is not able to access the image it will wait for 60 seconds and then it will get the uh, timeout done then it will move on to the next query all right this is how it works so we will not use this uh, three parameters okay let us just use the first three what it is given all right now once this is done i will just run the code let me press shift enter and run the code. You should be able to see here it says indexing page one. That means the first uh, image is actually, you know, downloading here. So see here uh, downloading image one. This is from the first page of Bing. OK, and then first image is downloaded. Second image, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and ninth. Tenth, OK, all the 10 images are now downloaded. So how can you know? How can you be sure that this particular images are downloaded? OK, so you can just go to your files here and then check out you should be able to see your images uh, inside images you have got apple fruit and then if you go inside this you should be able to see image one image two image three image four all of this particular categories or whatever the values are here uh, it will be given so let me just open it let me just try opening this and you should be able to see uh, the apple image opening up all right so i'll just scroll down and show you this is a big picture of Apple which we have got here. Let me just check some other image as well. So you should be able to see here the Apple images are actually taken into consideration and that is the code guys. So with the help of say barely three lines, I have actually written a code wherein it can download lots of uh, you know images directly uh, inside your say Google Colab or else if you are using any offline tool, you can down directly download inside your directory of your uh, computer. OK, this is how it does. OK, so if you like this video, please do consider subscribing to our channel. Let us know if you have any queries regarding the same.